variant workbook solutions. So we'll do few applications from variant workbook. And a uh, few things I want to tell you that I've also recorded the concept video for budget constraints. So if you have not seen that, I'll be giving you the link in the description. You can see that. And then you can see these recordings. And uh, I won't be writing the question completely in a similar way uh, for many questions uh, as they are given in variant workbook. So I'll be writing the main points of the question. And then you can solve the book. It will be easy for you, right? Okay, let's pick up the first uh, question. And this is assuming that you have seen the uh, concept video, right? If you have not seen that, please see that first. Or if you already know, then you can just go ahead. So I'll take a few days to complete the chapter. So this is one of the part of, or the first part of the recording. So write one question, question number one. Right. So suppose your income is is $40. And uh, price of good one is uh, ten dollars per unit. Price of good two is five dollars per unit. So the first thing is that how do you write the budget equation? Do you write the budget equation? Budget equation is what? You are living in two commodity world, X1 and X2. Hmm? And the per unit prices for good one and good two are P1, P2. Income is M. So you're buying X1 units of good one at price P1 per unit. So it is P1, X1 plus P2, X2 equals to M. So P1 is 10, P2 is uh, 5, income is 40, income is 40, right? Income is 40. So if you just want to plot this, X1, X2. So when X1 is 0, beta, you have 5X2 equals to 40. X2 is 8. Right? And when X2 is 0, you have 10X1 equals to 40. X1 is 4. Mm -hmm. X1 is 4. So this is the way the budget line is going to be. And the slope of the budget line is minus the intercept on the x-axis, upon oh, sorry, uh, y-axis upon the intercept on the x-axis. So that is minus 2. And in case if you want, for the downward sloping straight line, you know that this is going to be minus. So we just work with an absolute value. So you can just write uh, slope is 2. So for the budget constraint, we know that this is going to be in general, it is going to be downward sloping. Now suppose now suppose good one's price okay. Falls to five dollar. Per unit. And income falls to thirty dollars. So now the budget constraint is going to be what? Price of good one is five. You're buying X1 units. Price of good two is also five. You're buying X1 units. Income is 13, right? So when x1 is, this is x2 beta.
when x1 is 0 x2 mm -hmm. right. when x2 is 0 x1 is 6 right and the slope of this is minus the intercept on the x axis oh sorry minus the intercept on the y axis which is 6 upon intercept on the x axis which is 6 which is minus 1 which is minus 1 right so this blue budget line has become uh, flat one as compared to the original old uh, budget line right? original budget line so, and in case of the question comes, if you spend all your income on X1, how much of X1 you can buy? Or if you spend all your income on X2, how much of X2 you can buy? So I have given you those reasons. So if you spend all your income on X1 in the original case, you're buying four units of X1. If you're spending all your income on X1 in the new case, you're buying six units of X1. These questions are not arranged exactly in the same order as uh, they're in the book. So you will have to buy the book and write and, and solve that yourself also. I'm giving you an idea. Please write your budget. It's such that. you spend your entire income you can afford Either four units of good X and six units of good Y. Or twelve units of Good X and two units of good Y. What is the ratio? Px to what is the ratio of px to py? One thing. So they are saying that you can consume either four units of x and six units of y. So if you consume four units of x and six units of y, then your budget line looks like what? And let's say the prices of good one and good two are p1, p2. So p1 into four plus P2 into 6 equals to 1. So it means that when you are buying 4 units of X and 6 units of Y, it means that this 4, 6 is lying on the budget line. Your budget line is satisfied with this, right? Is equal to M. When you are buying 12 to, so it is P1 into 12 plus P2 into 2 equals to m. So this 12 2 will also satisfy the budget constraint. Right. And since income is same, so I can just write therefore P14 plus P26 equals to P112 plus P22 like this. Right. So you can write what? 
6p2 minus 2p2 is what? 4p2. 12p1 minus 4p1 is what? 8p1. Mm -hmm. So your p2 is equal to 2p. Therefore, p1 by p2 is equal to power. P1 by P2 is equal to R, right? And then the question says that uh, if you spend all your income on good X, uh, if you have spent all your income on good X, right? Then how much of X you can buy? How much of X you can buy? So you know this that the uh, Four six is satisfying the budget constraint. So we have four P one plus six P two equals to n. Hmm? But you also know this that P two is equal to two P one. This you have also calculated out here. Hmm? P two equals to two P one. Therefore, I can write 4P1 plus 6. In place of P2, I can write 2P1 better. Mm -hmm. I can write 2P1. And uh, so this is going to be 4P1 plus 12P1 equals to M. So that is 16P1 equals to m. So p1 well is equal to m upon 16. Right. If all income is spent on good x, right? then x is equal to m by p1. This you know now how I'm writing this. So you know this that your budget constraint is p1 x1 plus p2 x2 equals to m. This you know, right? So if you're spending all your income on x1, so it is going to be p1 x1 plus p2 into 0 equals to m. So x1 is m by p1, right, beta? So from here, this is M. And since P1 is M by 16, so I can write 16 units of good X. 16 units of good X. Similarly, you can find that if you spend all your income on good Y, then what is going to do this, right? So in the next class, we'll take the discussion further. Thank you, Vita.